first of all, everybody say your prayers and think about the people in South Florida and coming up. We got some players in this team. They got families down there in the midst of that, okay? We want to think about them, be with them, help them. Continuing breaking storm coverage. Irma now a tropical storm and its wrath is moving to the north. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for southern Georgia all the way up to Atlanta. Some severe winds gust over 70 miles an hour this morning. The worst of the winds is going to be this morning into this afternoon. Tonight it starts to die down, but notice the rainfall. Five to seven inches. Flooding will be an issue. We're expecting to see widespread power outages along the southeast with this. The worst of the winds for Atlanta is going to ramp up by this afternoon and last right into the evening. Let's do it. We're going to attack the day. Kirby Smart, all access. Sanford Stadium for the first game. Charter plays at the Notre Dame. Dog Nation got the crowd going, playing Tennessee for the fifth game. We gon' attack the day. Between the hedges where we play. They, they, they about to come to the state, but Mississippi sitting right in our way. They got the rankings in order. Jacksonville, Georgia, Florida. Then we go back to the state. Drive two hours away. All the Tigers who we play. Then we go back to the old fashioned hate. Georgia Tech is who we play. Then we go back to the old Georgia way. We gon' attack the day. Kirby Smart All Access. <laughs> Kirby Smart All Access is presented by Georgia's Own. Georgia's Own Credit Union. It's your future. Own it. Also brought to you by AT&T. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by Nissan. Proud supporter of college athletics. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Take on today. Four years ago, just 20 minutes down the road from the University of Georgia, a high school senior had a big decision to make. Take one of a few scholarships offered to him to play football at another university or accept a preferred walk-on spot at his favorite school, his hometown school. Time tonight, Phonies the tailback, Payne to the fullback. We go tight, two tight ends right. Eason looking left, looking left. Now he's it, there's Payne, he's open, he makes the catch, touchdown, Christian Payne. It's definitely a lot more special to me now that, you know, I came here as a walk-on. Um, I guess I'm definitely, like, a lot more appreciative that I'm now a part, like, a, a, a bigger part of the team now, now that, um, now that I'm playing and everything. So, you know, just very blessed and grateful for it. Christian grew up in Athens, Georgia. He has always had natural athletic ability but it is his drive that makes him unique. He maximized his ability through hard work and determination. You know, you're the walk-on coming in here, you know, people don't know who you are and you have to like you know, do, do something that, you know, extraordinary out of, you know, out of normal, make the coaches like notice you and everything like that. And that's what you have to do as a walk on. Yeah, I mean, Christian Payne, we came in together, so I've seen him grow and become, you know, the player and the person he is today. And he came in as, as a linebacker and he eventually moved to fullback and, and he came over there. And ever since then, he's been balling, making great blocks and very physical. Even to this day, you know, he's still doing, you know, making big plays for us. Handoff Payne, he's got a hole. Christian Payne running straight ahead. Boy, the, the seas parted straight up the field. And Christian Payne quickly down to the nine-yard line for the first down. I was a little kid that um, my dad took the, took the games like almost every single weekend since I can remember since I was like five. Uh, my, uh, my room was like decorated in all kinds of Georgia. You know, you name it, it was Georgia. Yeah, I mean, he's from Athens, so he's always been a dog, and he came here from right down the street, and he's been playing good. Payne's decision ultimately ended up being an easy one for him to make. His heart was always with Georgia, and he was never looking to be in the limelight. He just wanted to work hard and make an impact for the team that he had always loved.
In looking back through the past four years, Christian has no doubt of the most significant moment in his career at Georgia. Significant moment. Um, well, it's got to be my freshman year, first time ever playing. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I, di I didn't think that I was going to play at all that year. Um, I thought I was going to, you know, be on the scout team. You know, be, you know, red shirt that year. But I just remember it was the Arkansas week of my freshman year. Um, they, you know, they called me up and said that they were going to like start me on kickoff. And I remember like, wow, like being so excited, just being out there, um, going out there and just standing there and looking around. I'm like, wow, this is it. Like I'm at, like my dream has come true. I'm about to play for the University of Georgia, my hometown school. You know, my dream school was a, as a small child. Um, it was great. And that's definitely the best memory. There is no doubt that his work has paid off, not just for him, but for his team. This was no surprise to Payne's family, friends, and teammates as his character and humility always shined through. It was never like in my like mind that I would you know, be in the position you know, to, to start here um, and be like a, a really good contributor here. And I'm just thankful, you know, that God gave me the ability to play football here in Georgia, in my hometown school, and I'm just so thankful for that opportunity. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by Hyundai proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. Great reps, great reps. Let's go. You know anything about this song right here? Fred, you heard this song before, hadn't you? Never? Elijah, I know you heard this song before, hadn't you? You probably wasn't born when it came out. I know you wasn't born. You know about this song, though. You heard it before, though. Oh, okay. Get it down, get it down. Backs, 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 backs. Oh, fastball, fastball. High, high, tight. Don't pin yourself, Prather. Don't pin yourself. Yeah, Coach McGee, he's a great guy. He's, um, he's the same dude no matter what situation you're in, or it's practice or a game. He's always calm, collective, and you know, making them great calls and always you know, there for motivation and support. Good run! This Monday we came in and looked at the scout report and seen what the guys had and what their team was capable of. And we're coming out here pressing against their defense and their offense. Hey, defense, we got a better day than yesterday. Offense, y'all keep coming with it. Expect something different though. We on a long road to significance. Yeah. We can't afford a step behind. I love it. Hey, Dog Jack's team ready? Dog Jack's team ready? We know it's going to be a big stage coming off that win and we have to keep the momentum going. And for us, that means just staying positive and going out there every day at practice. So every week, you know, just come out and you know, play physical and play hard and be the tough team we want to be. We just got to go out there and play Georgia football. <laughs> Let's get this tent. Stand on it and then just give it one. That's what. There we go. Now 
Right in the middle. He's doing something for the Kirby Smart Show, so we're going to be on it this week. Tell Kirby I said hey. <laughs> this is what her parents have done. This is actually how we fell in love. <laughs> Ashley's parents have had season tickets since Herschel Walker days. So I'm, I'm serious, they've been in the same exact seat. So. Since 77. We dated during Herschel Walker's freshman year. So when I met Ashley, she kind of uh, lured me into coming to tailgate with her a lot. So <laughs> it worked out well. And now we have our own tickets. First year we've had our own tickets oh, this year. So. I never wore visors before. I, I didn't like them at all. But then when Kirby came, I just I was drinking the juice, and then I learned that my hat, my head stays nice and cool as well. Okay. I should have calmed down. Georgia napkin. This is huge. This segment of Kirby Smart All Access is brought to you by AT&T. definitely different than what we have played this year. So every, we play two teams that will run first. Sanford is not that. Um, Sanford will spread you out, get the ball in the perimeter, make you defend all the width of the field, uh, hurry up. They don't care they're in the same play six plays in a row. Um, they, they, they don't care. They're going to fire the ball around and they play loose and that's the way their coach wants them to play. And they're really aggressive and they got a really good quarterback. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. One play at a time mentality. One play at a time mentality. The best that you have ever run, the best that you have ever hit, 11 guys to the ball. This is what we have to do tonight. We got to have everything you got on that field. Listen up real quick, guys. Listen up. Hey, this is a statement game. We're playing to our level. Our level is way up here. That's physical, fast, and aggressive. The way we practice every day, today is a statement game. You understand? And execute. All week on offense, we said, execute, execute, execute. Do my job. You understand? You make a statement today. Everybody on special teams, everybody on offense and defense, complete team effort. Have some fun out there, guys. Get it on, boys. in white jerseys will kick it off from right to left here as we view it. Look out of the shotgun. Fromm takes the snap, tosses left to Chubb. He's got blockers far side. Chubb up to the 30 quickly. Ray Swift, he'll get the carry. Straight ahead. Swift with a big hole. Swift inside the 40, spinning at the 35. A shotgun for Fromm. He's got time. Going to throw it to the far corner, and it is caught going into the hedges. Is it a touchdown? Yes! Touchdown, Miko Hartman. And he ran straight into the hedges out of the side of the end zone when he caught that ball. It's 6 to nothing, Georgia. 
first and ten on the 21. Chubb in the backfield. Prom with a play fake. He's going deep. Ridley makes a great catch down at the 32-yard line of Sanford. 47-yard pickup. We quickly go to Chubb. Oh, he bounced out left. There was nothing straight ahead. 30, 25, 20, far sideline. 10, 5, walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Nick Chubb. And what a block by Jake Prom as well. So that play bounce outside as Nick Chubb had nothing inside. And Jake Prom lowered the boom on somebody from Sanford. Hodges looks to the left. Here comes Carter. He'll sack him. Good to see you show up again, number seven. Godwin going all the way to the far side and will dive into the end zone for the corner. The official said touchdown as Godwin trying to outrace a man for the far pylon. Dove across the goal line. This will be from the 27, a 37-yard try, and it's blocked. It's blocked. The ball will roll out of bounds at the 11-yard line. The dogs block the kick. Let's see if we respond to it. They'll go Wildcats. The team fumbles the snap. We pile on him back at the 26-yard line. And George has got the ball. The team fumbled the snap. Dogs get the ball. Big John Atkins, the nose tackle. Hand off Chubb with pain blocking. Start straight. Banks out to the left. He's headed for the end zone, folks. Touchdown in the left corner. They throw it out quickly to the near, to the far side. That is Godwin. He had a block, a little wide receiver screen. He cuts behind the block and veers into the end zone for the touchdown. Swift will shift. They hand it to Swift. He drives left, cuts back. He spins. Oh, oh he spun at the six and into the end zone. Touchdown. Wow, what a move. My goodness. You're going to have to watch that one on replay tonight. That was just a fantastic move in the middle of a host of white jerseys. Somehow able to spin into daylight. And that will be the end of the ball game as Georgia will win it 42-14 to tonight. Kirby Smart All Access is presented by Georgia's Own. Georgia's Own Credit Union. It's your future. Own it. Also brought to you by AT&T. They're playing hard, they're playing physical. We've been very fortunate, knock on wood, to not really have many injuries, and uh, we're still developing depth. I think we're able to play a lot of guys, which helps the kind of spirit, you know, the camaraderie when guys are playing. They enjoy that. Um, the defensive staff doing a tremendous job getting the guys prepared, and they play hard. I mean, if you play hard, you got a chance, and then you throw in some good players, and it makes it even easier. Well, it's a new year, you know, it's a new team, and we worked hard in the offseason just to, uh, you know, play to our potential, play to our standard. I think we've been doing that. Of course, it's both. You know, we, it was a great win, but it's always ways to improve. And I mean, he's, he's going to tell us we're going to see you know on the film tomorrow. And let's get better. It felt good, you know, just to get out of the way, uh, kind of get my feet wet, and um, hopefully, I got some more in, uh, in store uh, the rest of the year. Oh uh, man, excitement and joy, you know, just to celebrate with my teammates and um and just have fun and you know, celebrate for a little bit, then put it behind me and go back out to the next series and, and try to score again. I mean I'm so happy that he finally got in the end zone. I mean that that kid there, he's been working his butt off at practice, out here in the game and in the weight room. And just to see him come out there and get his first touchdown of his college career, I mean that put a smile on everybody's face on the sideline. Oh, to me, I mean that means a lot. Because, I mean, I look at him like a little brother. When he goes out there and, and plays his game and do well, I mean, that, that puts a smile on my face because I see him growing up as he goes. He, I don't think he really sees it, but, I mean, for the next years to come, he's going to be a great player. It's great. Uh, we got to carry the momentum and keep keep building off of it. We can't stop. Uh, I, it's just the beginning, and we got to keep going forward and just taking one game at a time. Yeah, uh, that's that's big. Stopping the run is where it all starts. You got to give them the long second and third down. And once we do that, that gives me a chance to rush the passer, and everybody else gives a chance to rush the passer. So stopping the run is big and getting a, getting the effect the quarterback. Uh, and you were able to get uh, a lot of guys into the ball game, and, and there's certainly benefit to that. Oh, absolutely. I think you know last year we missed that whole 
world. I mean, we got sophomores who didn't get to play much last year, and they're getting to play more. And our freshmen are getting to play more, and I think that helps your depth. We're going to need one of these guys in a key moment. So I'm a big believer in when you get a comfortable lead to get guys in. I'm not a stat guy. I'm not worried about, you know, did we shut them out? Did we not give up a first down? I mean, I want the kids to play, and the only way they get better is to play. Swift will shift. They hand it to Swift. He drives left, cuts back. He spins. Oh, oh he spun it to six and into the end zone. Touchdown. Wow, what a move. My goodness. <laughs> hey, family on three, family on three, one, two, three. Family.